Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these round retro seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself and you need really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular earring findings. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done, you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you will be inspired often, usually twice a week. If you're not new here, you could skip this intro because I have timestamps now and go directly to the work itself. I have just a few words to say. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and you will also find similar tutorials in descriptions that you could watch if you like them. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and commenting and for watching my videos. You helped me so much with these actions. I'm really grateful. Thank to all of you. And now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here are earring findings in this copper color or old gold color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up are 12 of these beautiful dark red beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here on my needle, 3 times 4, and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And here what I want to do is make a knot, and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And I will also make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And when you pull, make sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot from. Okay, now I have this circle of beads here. And what I want to do is go in this direction. Like this. And I'm going to pick up three beads of my next color, which is orange. And as I'm exiting here from this bead, I'm going back in circle through the same bead, adding this tree. You see, I hope you see the whole picture. And I pull. And then I will go through the next two beads, just like this. The next two. And as I'm exiting here, I will repeat the same thing. Take three. And as I exit here, I go back through this bead. In circle. Like this, you see I have a loop here between this bead and this tree. And when I pull, I have this. Now what I do is that I go through the next two beads around my circle. And I'm going to take three again. Okay, I have them. Then I will go back through this bead as I showed you before, but I will also go through the next two beads. In this way, I will save one movement. Remember when I was pulling like that, then I was going through the next two. Now I skip this move because I'm already where I want to be. Okay, then I take three. I go through this and through the following two, so through three beads in total. 
and in this way I'm saving time. Okay, I will show you two more times. Okay, and here I'm adding my last three. And you know you work correctly if you have here one bead space between this one and this one where I'm attaching my orange beads. If it's not the case, go back and redo this. Okay. Now in my next step, I want to exit through one of my orange beads in this direction. And what I do is that I take five yellow beads. Okay, five. I go through this orange and through the following orange, you see. Take five and go skipping this top bead here through this one and through this one. And then I pull. Okay. Now I'm here exiting out of this orange. I need five. I will skip the central and I go here. Okay. Five. Go like this. And I'm going to show you one more time slower. Okay. Skip the top and go through the next two. And then again. Okay, and in my last step again, I'm doing the same thing. Okay. Then uh, you see how those petals move around. I don't want this effect. That is why I will do the following thing. I will go through all of my yellow beads here, through all of the yellows. Then I'm going to take one black bead, just one. And again, in my next petal, I will go here through all of the yellows. Okay, one. go through all of the yellows. Okay, now I will continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last black bead. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat this step from all the sides. Now, what I do is that I go here one yellow bead away from the orange and between these two side uh, yellow beads my thread is here you see you see where it is and i'm going to take a black a green and a black and i will go in the same place between these two side yellow beads or one bead away from the bead that's sticking out the most, or this one. Okay, I'm here one bead away. Then here I'm going in the same place. One bead after, in this case, the bead that's sticking out the most. And I take a black, a green and a black. And go in the familiar place. Okay, I will show you one more time and let you do this until the end and meet you. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm here at this step where I add my last three beads 
and I'm one beat away from the beat that's sticking out the most. I'm exiting out of this beat if you don't see my thread. Now I'm going to take a black, five yellows and a black, you see, this is what I have on my needle. And I will skip the bead that's sticking out the most. So I will skip this one. And I will go through the following yellow. Okay, now I have this. Then I will go through this black here. And I will take guys the same thing. A black, five yellows. And a black. Okay, this is what I have here. And I will skip the green one and go here through the black. And also I will go through the following yellow. So now I have this. Then I will repeat it black, five yellows. And a black. And a black. And I will skip this one at the top and go through the yellow and through the following black. Okay. Now the same thing, black, five yellows, black. Here it is. Skip the green and go through the black and through the yellow. And guys, I repeat these steps until the end. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat this one and this one, this one and this one and meet me here. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row and I pull, okay. Then what I want to do is go in this direction through this black and these two yellow beads. Okay, I'm here, you see. And I'm going to skip the bead that's sticking out the most. I'm not going through this one that's sticking out the most. I'm skipping it and when I pull, I have something like an angle here. You see how this one is pointy and sticking out. Then I'm going to take just one yellow and I will go through these two yellows here like this filling up the gap then I'll skip the one that's pointy and I will pull it a little bit like this then I take one Go here and pull. Skip the one that's here at the top. Go through the following two yellows. When I pull, I have an angle. If angle is not formed, help it. Help this bit out with your needle. Okay, now one. And again, I repeat going through these two beads skipping the angle and going through the following two okay now i will continue this until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last yellow bead from this row if it bends a little bit don't worry because we'll fix it in the next row and in the next row i'm going through the bead that's here at the top this one and then i'm going through the following like this then i'm going to take two black beads okay two blacks and as i'm exiting here i'm going in the same place here through the bead that is next to the one at the top you see this is just beneath this one at the top and I pull, then I skip the top, uh, then I, you could skip it or go through it, it doesn't matter anymore. And you exit here 
out of this bead that is just after the top bead or the angle bead you take two and go here in the same place through these beads next to the one that's sticking out the most the top or the angle bead then go through the next two add again two in the same place and manner continue this and i'll meet you here okay guys and i'm here and i'm adding these last two beads from this row then i go here at the angle i'm exiting out of the angle and i'm going to pick up four red beads okay i have my four here dark red beads and i'm going at the next angle then i'm going to pick up four again okay four and go here and again four beads and go here okay and i will continue this until the end and i'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring okay guys and here i am at my last step where i add my last four beads from this row and you could go reinforce this row if you want one more time now what i want to do is go in this direction and i want to exit through the first of these four dark red beads okay i'm exiting out of this bead and i'm going to take my earring finding i will take two uh, orange beads then my earring finding slide those down and then i'm going to take two more orange beads and slide those down as well okay then as i have this i'm going back through the other dark orange through the yellow and through this dark orange again so i'm doing something like a circular motion like this and now it's time to reinforce it okay you could do it as many times as you like and when you're ready go in this direction and uh, you could choose a place to make a knot okay and i'm making my knot by making here a loop going once and going second time through this loop i've made and i pull then i go through the following seed bead and you could repeat this knot several times and when you make the last one go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread never cut next to a knot and now my colorful round earrings are ready okay guys and now my round retro colorful earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself you will be inspired often usually twice a week you could also check description for full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and there are similar tutorials to this one that you could also check out down there in description and at the eye icons. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate your support so much. If you like, share and comment, this means so much to me. Thank you again and bye-bye from me.